Hi, and today I thought we'd have a little bit of a change. I'm going to play some tunes for you on this wonderful vintage Hammond organ. This is uh, from the T200 series, which harks back to about 1969. So it's not, uh, it's around my age. I'm not telling you what my age is, but that's what it is. And this is an organ that I've had for many years in storage. Recently, I got it out and just oiled it and literally have just plugged it in not so long ago. And bearing in mind, it's been storage for many years. Um, it actually plays fine. There's one or two little connections need to be uh, fiddled around with. I need to do a little bit of work on the percussion. I have had it opened up though, and I've greased the drawbars and oiled it inside, oiled all the generators and the motors and the Leslie speaker. What you're hearing on these recordings is actually the organ as it is here. There is no external Leslie speaker, no trickery at all. I've not edited the sound. It is as it has gone in to the recording software. Um, and all I've done is I've mic'd it close mic to the actual instrument so we get a better sound. So what you're hearing is the internal Leslie, all the internal speakers. What I love about this organ is the fact that, well, it's a Hammond, first of all. It's got some age to it, so it's huge fun. I have quite a collection of Hammonds um, in, my, in storage at the moment. Um, quite a few different models, actually, right from 1963 to the early 70s. This one I particularly like because I like the looks of it. It's very much of its time. Um, it still sounds good. Eventually I might even modify it to actually um, do a little bit of more work with a percussion where I can actually get the key click. Now, if you look at my other videos, I am playing the T500, which I did modify, where it's got stronger key click and it has got the second and third harmonic percussion, as well as one or two other things. That was done on uh, a large Leslie. Eventually I might wire this one through an external Leslie as well. But I love this organ. One reason this is actually an improvement in some ways over the T500 is I think it looks a little bit more um, less gregarious in its style um, even though I'm a big fan of the T500. Also it has here inside a different scanner vibrato which I utilize a great deal as you'll hear in the recordings and the thing about it is that um, it is the same pie dish scanner more or less as the B3 and the A100, C3, RT3, etc. So it is a far superior vibrato sound to the actual T500, which used a much cheaper uh, sort of barrel shaped one, which is rattly and scrapes. It's much better than having electronically produced vibrato in the, when we say electronic, we mean, you know, purely um, so, um, solid state um, vibrato, but the vibrato on here is absolutely gorgeous. So here is um, a song for you now, it's called Amazing Grace. I'm just going to set it all up, then we'll come straight back and I will release uh, one or two other songs on this organ. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoy. Bye for now.
Thank you.